straight out, the console war, I don't even know if you can call it a war okay. at this point. I mean, it's real because there are things happening. Right, right. There's moves, but there's clearly, moves happening on the, like, Sony is right. here in terms of sales, mm -hmm. and Microsoft is here. Loading snacks. What it do, snackers and snackettes. It is your boy Gage, along with Sin, and this is the Loading Snack Show. Yes, it is. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. And as always, we will kick the show off with hashtag ICYMI. Just in case you missed it. Just in case you missed it, aka last week's news. That's right. La you gotta say it with the deep voice. Last, last week's, week's news. news. Yeah, like okay. that. That's how we do it. Last oh. week. Yeah. <laughs> last week. <laughs> last week. On <laughs> Loading Snack. Stuff like that. Yeah. But, exactly. Right. Exactly. Gotcha. Gotcha. Starting off with number one. So Microsoft has purchased physics engine Havoc from Intel, M$ dollar, or M$ dollar sign, as they are known in the Twitterverse, is adding to their portfolio of development tools that already includes Azure, DirectX 12, and Visual Studio. Microsoft grinding. Aren't they though? <laughs> they grinded. It's a little, it's, <laughs> there's, there's a little trickery here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, look, straight out, the console war, I don't even know if you can call it a war okay. at this point. I mean, it's real because there are things happening. Right, right. There's moves, but there's clearly, moves happening on the like Sony is right. here in terms of sales, mm -hmm. and Microsoft is here right. in terms of sales, right? right? But Microsoft has been, like the purchase of like Mojang, mm -hmm. this reminds me of that purchase. Because it's not, because this is a physics engine that they completely and wholly intend to continue to allow other people to Everybody, use. Everybody, right, to have pay access for, to, right. To use, right. which probably means rights and royalties. Mm hmm. Now, like Minecraft, which was like, people were afraid when they made that purchase of Mojang. That it was only going to be a Microsoft exclusive. Or they were going right. to put something out, you know, whatever. But no, yeah, you can have it on your Vita, you can have it on your yeah, PlayStation, just, you can have it just, on just, go ahead, let me get yeah, that. Just give me a little something, Where, something right here. Yep. Paint, paint yep. them dollars, paint That's them right. dollars, right? <clears throat> So this is a lot like that in that, yes, they intend to continue to use it. And you know what? The Havoc engine has been around for a long time. They Absolutely. have literally like 600 titles. Yeah. Under them. So if you've ever seen, if you don't know what the Havoc engine is, Cut anytime you start up a game, <laughs> almost any game you play, all those logos you, you see in the beginning, see this logo that looks kind of like a yellow sun, sun yeah, like yeah. spinning a little bit or whatever, yeah. and we'll say Havoc. Yep. And that is That's that it. physics engine that tells the game what to do when you shoot someone and they're supposed to fall. Right. Right. Um, and this includes games like Destiny. Yep, which is everywhere. So does that mean <laughs> now that as we go into the holiday, and of course with the Taken King having only recently released, mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't buy it the first go around. Right. But going into the holiday, people are buying their PS4s, they're mm -hmm. buying it, getting Getting Destiny. their bundles, all that kind of stuff, right? And Microsoft is just like... Mm. Right, just, just keep, keep, <laughs> like, so keep paying versus... You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just it's keep just, it to a shit. It's, but it's cool, though, because I think that, again, one of the things that I think Microsoft is doing that I don't necessarily... I'm not saying that they're not interested in being ahead in terms of the console war. What mm -hmm. I am saying is that they are putting their money in PC as much as they are putting it in console. And yeah, this that's... is another one of those, look, come work with us. We will develop with you. You can put your games on our console mm -hmm. as well as on... PCs. Yeah, just like with the whole Windows 10 thing, how they're making everything, everything is, everything is gonna be one, everything is coming together. PC, mobile, gaming, everything's gonna be one thing. And it's just, yeah, a step in that yeah, direction. Yeah. They're, they're that making money, moves, they're making big coming. moves. Yeah. That money's coming. Number two. So Sony has officially announced a $50 price drop for the PS4. So the Nathan Drake Collection bundle released on 10.9 for 3.49 and will be followed by four more bundles going into the holiday season. Mm. So now. Okay. Now, so we are? knew this was going to happen because we saw that they announced a price drop for Japan. Right. Which has sold nowhere near the amount of units that they've seen overseas and here. Mm -hmm. it's, the PS4 is not doing as well in Japan. But generally, if you see that, we're two years into the console cycle now. Right. You see the price drop. Microsoft has had a price drop and has been lower than them and has not been able to beat them in terms of sales. I think they did it like one month. Right. <clears throat> so, 
This is important. This is a big it is. deal. It is. It's about time for a price drop. It's a big which deal. Has been on two years. And it's very necessary going into this holiday because clearly Microsoft has them beat in terms of exclusive titles exactly. and what they have to bring to the table. Exactly. Because Microsoft spent the last like week and a half announcing bundle on top of bundle yeah. on top of bundle yeah. on top of bundle, right? So Sony comes back. Here's a Nathan Drake collection. Mm -hmm. Right? Get yourself ready for Uncharted 4. Right. You get all three mm. games. Yep. They're old games, but here they are. Yeah, but you get all of right, them. Right, that's 350. Right. 350, right? Okay. Not bad. But then they're going to follow that with the limited edition Call of Duty, Black okay. Ops 3. That's the one terabyte. Right. That's okay. important. Then that's going to be 449 So okay. it's still a $50 <clears throat> price drop from the $500 right, price right. it would have been. Um, that hits on November 6th. Okay. Then they have a limited edition Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars bundle. That comes out 1113. That's, That's also 449. That's gonna move, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Um, the limited edition Star Wars Battlefront PS4 bundle, which is 1117, 449. Okay. Okay. Uh, the regular Star Wars Battlefront bundle, which is 399. Okay. Um, there is an NHL because this is this is North America, so this is US and right. Canada. Um, there is an NHL 16 PS4 bundle that's available now. That's 449. Okay. Okay. All good bundles. Yeah. Um, keep in mind that 449 Canadian prices are higher than they are here, so generally you see them at fifty dollars more than what we right. pay anyway. <clears throat> um, but they have a pretty solid lineup. They now, do. having said that, mm -hmm. that lineup is still expensive mm -hmm. at 449. Because yeah. there's still a lot of bundles that Microsoft has that are less than that. Absolutely. And give you more games. They do. They do. I say that. This, Microsoft announced the Gears of War bundle. Comes with a white console. They got white consoles. They got to move. They didn't move. Right. So they got white consoles. They got to move. Right? right. But they announced it. It's only a 500 gig. Right? Mm -hmm. It's 350, but it comes with Gears of War Ultimate. Okay. Rare Replay, which is 30 games. Right. And Ori and the Blind Forest. But... You also have to remember that if you play the Gears of War Ultimate like before January 1st, mm -hmm. you automatically get backwards compatible with Gears two? 2, 3, and the... And the uh, Judgment or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and okay. Judgment. Yeah. That's a lot of games that, for that, that price. No, that by far, that's the best bundle. That's the best deal. On, on the market right now. Yeah, yeah. best deal for by all far. all of that? Yeah. That's crazy. So they got some work to do, but they that do. price drop, when they're already winning like they are, it's going to move units. It is. It's gonna move so units, and like I said, all good bundles. The Star all Wars bundles, the Infinity bundle. Yeah, the, they're gonna they're gonna move units. Cause that Call of Duty front. one. Yeah. Cause that Battlefront. Open beta. Gorgeous. Number three. Ubisoft announced the fifth game in the Far Cry franchise, Far Cry Primal. The game takes place in 10,000 BC, and it looks like the main protagonist will have a saber tooth tiger buddy. Awesome. Bruh. <laughs> I'm interested in this. Now listen. I understand the popularity of Far Cry. Mm -hmm. I've played everything from like... Well, I actually did go back and play the first Far Cry after okay. Far Cry 2 came out. Okay. I understand people's love. I never get through them. Like, I just kind of get... They just get old to me. This looks... It does. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> like it looks... And the this, whole the whole ten thousand BC thing that's what really intrigues me exactly. how they're gonna how they're gonna do everything as far as weapons and yeah spear my man has spears bow and arrows but now it's like right. crafting matters because you're literally a hunter yes gatherer. so yep you gotta go out here you gotta yeah, kill hunt these your animals, food you and all that kind hunt, of stuff you gotta, yep. yeah like, you use the other remains to make your weapons they've said like this is going to be amazing it's gonna be, it's gonna be the truth and they actually gave us a release date which is february uh yeah. i can't remember the actual number but they said february uh, we'll see if it actually yeah, hits the target because you be solved we'll has see if tendency. it hits the target but they have said february 2016. but again that's kind of it's i mean they've been a little quiet there's no way they could have turned a new far cry from far cry 4 with the same team but it's a completely different team okay and they got help from like four other of their studios mm. to do this and but this is not like this is a full 60 dollars game this is yeah. not like the far cry blood dragon thing they no, did it no, was no, like no. a downloadable add-on or whatever right. this is a full full fledged but so listen I'm... but but understand it th this literally means i want you to think about this for a second how long have we been waiting for the division Going on three years. At least. At least three years. So it comes out in March. This game got announced last week and it's supposed to release before The Division. 
from yeah. the same company. Yeah, I'm a little see, little see, yeah, but, yeah. But when, when all that comes into perspective. <laughs> but here's the thing. I can't remember what the exact date is, but I know it's the exact same day as Deus Ex mm. and Mirror's Edge 2. Or not 2, but the, the reboot of Mirror's all Edge. All right, Lynn, let me go ahead. Get and, them pockets. Yeah, let me go get ahead. Them, yeah. Get them pockets <laughs> ready, because it's ugly yeah. right uh, now. Okay, okay. Number four. Destiny is getting microtransactions. Tess Eververse, who has been absent from her post in the tower ever since the Taken King showed up, is returning on October 13th. She is bringing with her some new items to sell, including 18 new emotes, which can be purchased with silver, a new currency in the game that can be purchased with real money via your console store. Okay. Does that bother you? No. Me neither, because it doesn't affect the exactly. gameplay. At it, all. It's, it's all. It sounds like it's gonna be cosmetic type stuff. If you want to buy it, cool. It if is. not, no sweat off anybody. And they do make it sound like she's going to have other things, so I don't Event, know what yeah. those other things are going to be. Right. But they are going to give you some silver. So when they do this update, they're They'll going give to just some, give you some, so you can go buy one. Right. And see, you know, right. what's what. And that does include the three that were given to new players that bought like the limited, the limited and special edition okay. or whatever okay. um, when the Taken King came out. So if you don't have those and you want one of those, you, you can. You can go get it right. 18 is a lot. So now I know when I log in on that day, mm -hmm. everybody's going to be in the tower, gathered yep. around the joint, just pop. Pop locking and dancing everywhere, yep. Doing all the new moves. Doing, all yeah, the, yeah, it's going to be it. They're going to yeah. be all trying to test them out yep. and see what they look like. <laughs> it's going to be stupid. <laughs> the tower's going to be jam-packed. The tower in the reef. And every packed. time somebody finishes a strike or finishes a mission, this is going to be... Yep, pop block, and it's all going to be out at night. Like it's going to be all that dumbness. But I don't have a problem with microtransactions. Cool. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Just do what you do. You don't have to buy it. So yeah, we'll then do. just go about your business. Yeah. Do it's not going to hurt yeah. anything. Not at all. No. Nah. Number five. Netflix is increasing their base streaming price from eight ninety nine to nine ninety nine, effective immediately. Current users will not be affected until next October, but new subscribers will start at the new fee. Okay. So this is their base the, the streaming, line, right. which is to be able to stream to up to two different devices. So mm -hmm. like your phone and your computer or like your Xbox or and your mm -hmm. PlayStation at the same time. I mean, right. or your Wii U and your... <laughs> Shots <fun. laughs> I mean... Right, at the same time, yeah. stream, stream on so two that's different devices, at the, right? at the base, right? right? Now they say that this is so that they can continue to bring you all of this content they've been. Honestly, it's probably been about time. I mean, I'm cool all, with that. Yeah. It's that Jessica Jones money. Exactly. <laughs> all, all these good programmers they've been giving us I just for a dollar. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. look, $9.99 is like a base thing for almost anything. Like you can't do Hulu without that. Like $9.99 yeah. is just, yeah. <laughs> that's a base. So I think that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I don't have issues. Not one. Not gonna get issues. Yeah. yeah. So I'm cool with it. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Just In Case You Missed It. Yep. We will be back shortly with a little more information on some things that are happening in the digital age. And before we get to that... We got some candies to try out. Halloween time. Yeah. Halloween time. And with that, we'll be back. Straight up. This is Damon Bowie of Damon Bowie Art, and you're watching Loading Snacks at RipTV.com. From the perspective. <laughs> And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Loading Snacks show. Yeah. We have some, some treats. Halloween treatlets. Halloween treats. Because Halloween is coming. Now, let me tell you all something that's really important to me about Halloween. Okay. Okay? Yes, the candy is a big deal. Okay? Because that's really what the kids are right, about, excited right? About, right, and dressing up. But the reason why we've chosen the candy we have chosen today is because this candy is specifically made like they actually changed the candy for halloween not right. just the wrapper or the right. outside or whatever it's not just that it comes in a big bundle or whatever so that's why we chose what we chose so what we have low if you will yeah i got this one these three musketeers right 
Now, I don't know if y'all can see that. What's special about these is that nougat. The blood nougat. Blood colored nougat, which I think is pretty cool. So let's do that real quick. Let's do that. All right. You got one. I got one. I'm gonna take one. All right, three musketeers with some blood nougat. Blood nougat. So look, I'm just gonna break it. Break it open. Blood nougat. Okay. How? Doesn't taste like blood. A little disappointed. Are you really? Just a little. All right. Well, slide <laughs> away from me. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> Tastes the same. It does. A little no freaky. But I think that's cool. It is. Now this does mean kids will probably play with this. Yeah. Everybody's gonna break it open to mess with yeah. it. Yeah. But I like the effort. Now. Kit Kats. Now I love Kit Kats. These Kit Kats. They've changed the chocolate coating to orange. Ooh. Let's see what it looks like. Oops. My man. Mm -hmm. I did change the packaging too. I mean, it's got like little bats on it. Okay. It says Halloween on it. The color's actually freaky. Freaky, 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 freaky. Freaky, blow. freaky. Freaky. <laughs> 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 you don't get that reference. I can't even help you right now. Orange cat. It looks like it's gonna taste. I like know. Orange. That's what's gonna be all like. It's it's gonna like mess orange me up. cream sickle or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Ew. I don't do no cream sickles. <laughs> I don't do no cream sickles. Pause. Okay. <laughs> you don't like cream sickles, do you? Well, this is more like a white chocolate. It's gonna ignore me. It's a little like a white chocolate. Yeah. Not. It's a little lighter. It seems yeah. like then. Yeah. Well, those taste slightly different. Yeah, I like the three musketeers, which was exactly the same. This one does have a different taste to it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste orange, but... Right. But it, it doesn't taste like, taste like normal. It yeah. tastes like white chocolate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Try to pull one over on us. All like right. The Mars Corporation. Now. Last but not least. Now, look. Peeps, I generally reserve for Easter time. Okay. But these peeps, I had to pick up. Go ahead and slide them out the bag, bro. All right. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. The they had peeps that look like ghosts and look like pumpkins. But these joints are tombstones. <laughs> I don't really need to taste one. I know what peeps taste like. Yeah. I'm gonna taste one anyway. All right. But I will for the sake of the show. Which one you? you which, all right, we got Boo. I'm a gone. You want R.I.P.? I want R.I.P. Go ahead. R.I.P. R.I.P. Right up. Sugary Mark. I'll be up all night messing with this stuff. Which is great because Battlefront. So. <laughs> 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 Oh. And it tastes like, what do you expect it to taste like? Yup. Sugar and sugar. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if anybody would actually take a marshmallow and just pour sugar I know, it. right? But I ain't selling it to you. <laughs> it's great sugar, too. It's like, yeah. that's strong. They, it's listen, very strong. I'm going to advise you not to give this to your children before they go to bed. No, because they're not <laughs> going to Give this to them sleep. right after they have breakfast before they go to school. See how them teachers act. <laughs> oh god, I'm done with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put that yeah. down. Yeah. I can't um mm. I mean I can, but I, nah. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna. Yeah, just put it down. I'm gonna just let Gotta that brush rest. my teeth after that one. Yeah, Good you Lord. do. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, so somebody gotta hit the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> um so look. Okay. We've been on this digital kick last right. couple weeks. Okay. Right. So I brought something new to the table because I've been thinking. That's what you do. I do I do, That's do what that you do. sometimes. <laughs> So, what just happened this week, this past week, mm -hmm. is the UK, they passed a law in the UK that all transactions have to have a 30-day return policy. Okay. And this includes digital transactions. So, that got the old gears of turning. Mm -hmm. And I really do think that one of the things that is keeping digital from taking off in gaming is that there are no refunds for digital purchases. Like literally anything you buy, it will say there are no refunds no, for this I can purchase. agree this one, that's one of the hiccups. I can definitely agree with And that. I am positive that not only is this an issue from the standpoint of I'm a parent and I don't want a child to buy something that then they're not, they don't like or they're not happy with or mm -hmm. whatever. Because even if that happens at a GameStop or something, if I buy a physical game, mm -hmm. even if I'm outside of return policy or it's open, which obviously you can't return it for a full refund if it's open, mm -hmm. and that's CDs or you know movies right. or games. 
but I can at least take it back and get something for it to put right. towards something else if they don't like it. Right. Where with digital, it's nothing. Even if you pre-order it, you can't return the pre. You can't just say I don't. And that's again, you go to GameStop. Five dollars to pre-order. Or even thing. if you put the whole thing right. down. Or the whole thing, right? Before the game comes out, even after the game comes out, you can just go back and be like, right. eh, no, thank you. Let me take that pre-order, put it towards this game. Let me get right. that now, or let me take this pre-order and put it on a different pre-order. Right. You know, or whatever. <clears throat> I think one. I think this law needs to come here. It does. <clears throat> but I think it's imperative that Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo look at this seriously about how to do refunds. Because, like, right now, um, on, like, Android devices, mm -hmm. because there were so many issues with kids going in their parents' phones and making purchases and things yep. like that, because initially there were all kinds of issues with that, but now you can pretty much just go in and say... I don't want this. Like, this wasn't supposed to be purchased, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, and I want a refund. And I actually had, I was I was actually having a discussion about this with um, Bobby from Average Average Bros Reviews, okay. and he was telling me that his daughter made a purchase, it was like a $20 purchase, mm -hmm. and he realized it, and it had happened like a week prior. Mm -hmm. And he went in, and he basically, there was a thing at the bottom that just said, hey, go to support, or whatever, when he went to support, there was an issue, and he could just hit a, hit a thing and sign in, like, I didn't want this purchase, you know, whatever, and he was like, literally within an hour, they had... Refunded his money. Yep. Um, and these companies need to look at this seriously. They do. That's one of the things that everybody's been talking about for a while, as far as digital purchases. Like, we need to figure out, whatever the way is, we need to figure out something. Right for people to do trade-ins or, or get money back, refunds, right. something. And I'm glad that the UK is taking the first step to yep. doing that. Yeah, I mean... Like, somebody had to dive in head yeah, first and, yeah. and start doing something. I mean, it feels like it's only a matter of time. I think it has to come, you know, to this side. But mm -hmm. it's one of those things where it's like, if we're not out and about and kind of vocal about it... Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing happens at all. Yeah. Um. And when we see things happening, like like right now, GameStop is fighting to keep disc-based stuff. Yeah, yeah they, they, to, they are to keep it. And I'm not, and I'm that's okay. Like I, I do feel like people should have a choice. So like Absolutely. right now, the idea of going to say a console that doesn't have a disc reader at all mm -hmm. is not appealing. Okay, to most people. Mm -hmm. Now I'd be perfectly okay with paying a little less money and getting one that doesn't have. Like I don't, I don't need a Blu-ray player. I honestly have not it. used my Blu-ray player on my Xbox One since I got it just to test it out and see if it worked. I have used it, I have used it because I have tons <clears throat> of Blu-rays, mm -hmm. but I don't actually have to. <laughs> like I don't, I really right, don't. Right. I really don't because at this point I have pretty much taken everything I've owned, made it digital, so we can use it on Plex. Same thing here. Same thing here. And we share that. Right. Right. Um, or I have made my purchases digitally like mm -hmm. I have not I have tons of blu-rays I haven't purchased a blu-ray in I can't tell you probably I four bought. years or so. like I Please. thought I thought of, I was gonna dive in for the Marvel phase one joint with the with, 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 with the tesseract, yeah, with the yeah. tesseract I was too I was about to die I don't need why can't you sell that without the disc <laughs> I don't need the disc. I don't even need a digital thing. Just sell me the Tesseract. Just give me the suitcase. Let me the get tesseract. the Tesseract. That's all I wanted. That's really all, I, that's all we wanted from it. I didn't need everything else. They're all I'd on my computer. Happy. Put them joints on a shelf. I guarantee you they will sell. Yes. Without the movies. Yes. They will sell. Take them to a con. Watch how fast, they, watch how fast they go. I don't care what price yep. you slap on it. Yep, no doubt. Watch how fast they People go. People will use them at a con as props. <laughs> yes. In, in the cars <laughs> love shoot. <laughs> the suitcase, yeah. As props. Yes. Um, we need to find a way for them to make it so that, look, even if all they do is say, okay, look, you can do a return, but even if you paid it on your credit card or whatever, it goes back to your, your console's wallet, wallet yeah. right? Or whatever. It has to be Microsoft dollars. It has to be, be Sony dollars. dollars it Nintendo dollars, be, stuff right. like that. Um, do I think that would be okay? Not necessarily. But I mean, it's better than not having anything at all, an option at all, which is what you have now, which the minute someone sees that, I think people go, oh, no, wait, no. When you have something that happened, like what happened with Batman, mm, when it released with PC, with PC yeah, yeah. right? I'm almost positive that's still broken. Like, I don't think they fixed that yet. Um, and there are people who bought it, 
you know, bought it through Steam, which mm -hmm. Steam has some great policies. Like there is a refund policy in Steam, but it's like two hours, <laughs> like two like, hours from the time you start that it playing releases. the game. Yeah, or, or, or yeah, from right. from like when you start playing it. Okay, okay. You have like two hours to go in and figure out request a refund or, or whatever, because they don't want you to play too much of it, or whatever. But regardless of how silly that might sound, mm -hmm. there's something in place. Right. Um, which is much better than where we are with these consoles. And that, you know, look, I don't necessarily think that Steam machines are going to make a whole lot of noise or a big splash in terms of interrupting the console market. I don't think so. However, the fact that you could have one of those as a console attached to your TV, playing with a controller that is essentially the same as one of their controllers, mm -hmm. and you have some sort of... You have a, an option for a refund. And, people, and they have the best deals and sales on those games digitally as it is. Yes. They are poised to do something if they do it right. And I think that it's important that these companies look at this and right start away. And start putting like, something in place. Right away, yep, right to away. To start refunding people and so forth. There needs to be something um, yes. in place. So what I think we need to do is, we're not gonna do that right here, right now, but I think we need to come up with some some good ideas some, for some, what some, they some should, ways for what they should do. do. It's time to write an email. Uh oh. Send something in. Start some a campaign. Files. Let's do this. We want some signatures. We need to stand. Go to Microsoft. Signatures. Sony stand on our soapbox out front. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? I'm talking about signs. old school, like D Generation X style. Like we just show up at they building in a tank. <laughs> just, like, start, start <laughs> <shopping them. laughs> like, yeah. We want refunds. <laughs> Digital refunds. What do we want? Digital refunds. When do we want them? Now. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up like this. We're not leaving until the police come and take us. Oh God, they're coming. <laughs> something like that. Something, something, something like, like that. that. Something along those lines. Something yeah. like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's important. I think once that happens, we begin to see digital really take off. And I think that's probably one of the biggest hiccups. Yeah, that between exists. that and people just still needing the physical disc. Some, uh, you know, some, I think people are getting, I, I think, that. yeah, I know, but I yeah, think but that's. Is, is, is the biggest hangout. Yep. Not being able to get your money back if you something hang. you don't like. Straight up. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been the Loading Snack Show. Yes, it was. We hope you enjoyed it. And if we you did, did, I had a great time. I'm good. Sugar. Um, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ric Flair! <laughs> Woo! Because that's how we do. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Please. Let us know what you like. Please drop us a comment. Tell us what you want to hear about, what you want to see, and if there's anything that we missed that we should have talked about that Let we didn't. Let us know. Drop us a line. Yeah. Tell, tell us. Yeah. And then push a button. We're always looking for push, push the button. Push a button. Push the button. Jun Tao. <laughs> push, push the, the button. button. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. And I guess with yeah. that, we wow. out. Loading snacks. Ow, ow.